we switched over to the alternative, <laughs> which is the camera. Okay, so like I was saying, we're gonna get started with empties. I'm gonna start off with body care. I'm sorry if you guys hear that. My daughter is playing in her closet. I have no idea what she's doing, but don't mind that noise, okay? So first thing I finished off is the Skin Cement Moisturizing Shaving Gel and Coconut Delight. Finished off another one of these. I have nothing bad to say about it. It's amazing. I will always repurchase it for sure. I also finally finished up this. This is the Love Beauty and Planet Coconut and Water Coconut Water and Mimosa Flower Lotion. You guys, this smelled delicious. It smelled so good. But I was ready to like get rid of it. But this smells really, really good. Probably after the lotions that I have now, I'll finish them. I'll probably repurchase this, but this smells amazing. If you like anything that smells like coconut, you're going to love this. Next thing I finished is another one of my Tree Hut Coco Colada Shea Sugar Scrubs. You guys already know that I love this. It is amazing. It smells delicious. I already have another one in my shower, so it smells so good. It smells delicious. If you guys are not putting this on after you shave, you need to. You need to get your hands on this. You need to try this. This is amazing. Um, I think that was it for body care. Um, I have one thing for hair care, so we're going to do that and get this out of the way. Um, I finally finished the Shea Moisture. This is the Silicone Free Miracle Styler Leave-In Treatment. It is a leave-in conditioner. I finally finished it all. It does actually smell really good, but I felt like it did go pretty fast, but it did leave my hair super, super soft and everything. I have nothing bad to say, but I'm using other ones, so this one I would probably repurchase in the future. For skincare, I finished off, finally finished off, my Murad Nutrient Charged Water Gel Moisturizer. Oh my goodness, guys, this is amazing. I need to pick this up again, but when it's on sale, when it's on sale, I think it's like $66. But originally it's like $89. Super expensive, but it is worth it. It is all gone. I finished it. This is amazing. If you have oily skin, I would highly recommend this moisturizer. It is bomb. I love this thing. Like this is a very, very good high-end like face moisturizer for oily skin. I love this. Also finished up the L'Oreal Eye Defense Eye Cream. I am super surprised at myself that I finished this. I don't know why it's not focusing. I have such a hard time getting things to focus. There we go. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I finally finished it. I'm super surprised I actually finished an eye cream, but I did. And it was good while it lasted. But finish it up. I can't really say anything like, oh my god, to make my dark circles brighter or whatever because I really wasn't consistent with it. I was only consistent with it towards the end because I knew that there was only a little bit left. But I wasn't consistent with it like all the way through but yeah we're using a different one now so but if you guys have this let me know if, you, if it worked for you for more skincare i finished this this was the clean and clear relaxing jelly eye sheet mask i got this at dollar general for 225 it worked it smelled like lavender it wasn't an overpowering scent because i oh i like hate the way lavender smells it's gross and candles and fragrances just anything lavender scented no like it's a no for me but this was actually not that bad it did have seaweed in it but it did smell a little bit like lavender but it wasn't that bad so this actually worked pretty well actually you know what? no i am mistaken this is not what smells like lavender this is what smells like lavender this smell was not that bad but that clean and clear she mask, that one was really good. It's nice and moisturizing. Recommend that one. This is what smelled like lavender. This is the Mega Rhythm Gentle Steam Eye Mask. This is what smells like lavender. This actually is not that bad at all whatsoever. It's an okay lavender scent that I can handle. Um, and this was like a warming eye mask. So basically you would sit there with your eyes closed and you would put the patch on. And it would just warm up your little eyeballs. And it would be nice and relaxing. And I would do these a night before I went to bed and it helped a lot. So these are really good. Um, I also finished up this. I used it in my tutorial for this look. But this is the Bliss Holographic Foil Eye Masks. They're very nice and moisturizing. 
nothing really bad to say about it. Also finished up this. This is the Mamo Made. Mamo? I don't know how you say it. I'm probably saying this wrong. This is the Rose Water Toner. I finished up one of these, um, I want to say on my last empties video that I did. Why is this not focusing? Focus. There we go. So I finally finished up the other one. It smells really good. I don't know how much this retails for, but I know they sell it at Ulta. I love the way it smells. But I would repurchase this once I finish up all my exfoliators and toners that I have because this was amazing. I used up this Feel, Feel Brilliant Bamboo Charcoal Facial Sheet Mask. Very nice, moisturizing, hydrating. Nothing bad to say about it. And then I did this. Me and Babe did this, actually. This is the Kia or Kea, K Aesthetics. I don't know. Soft and smooth, gentle feeling, gentle peeling foot mask. I found this at Walmart. Um, Babe did his, but it was like for men. So I picked this one up for me. And oh my god. My feet have never felt softer. Like, you need to try this out. You need to go to Walmart and go get this and try it out. The only thing though is that not right away your feet are, start to peel. Your feet will peel, okay? You're gonna look like a little snake with your feet peeling. So if you don't like that or like peeling off dead skin, then don't do it. But if you can handle it and you want some soft feet, do it. It takes like about maybe a week to a couple of days till you see the peeling and then your feet are gonna peel continuously until it all comes off and then your feet are gonna be nice and soft. That's like for a good pamper day. That's what that's good for. Moving on to makeup now. I finished up three of these Swiss first cotton rounds. You guys already know. I love these. These are amazing. I use them for my exfoliator, my toner, my Garnier Micellar Water. I use it for everything. You guys already know I love these. I actually saw at Walmart that they sell a three pack of them now. I'll put a picture of it. I bought that so I don't have to keep going and buying them individually. I could just get them in a three pack and that's amazing. And I finished up two different uh, makeup remover wipes. The first one that I finished up was the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Extra Gentle Cleansing Wipes. These only had 25 wipes in it. I found these, I think, at TJ Maxx for like two bucks. The only thing that I was going to, the only thing I did not like, okay, why was because. I thought it was gonna be like this, but in this, and it wasn't. These were like so dry, like so dry. I took out my makeup, it didn't irritate my face or nothing, but it was so dry, like it needed a little bit of this in there a little bit more. But they were pretty dry. I think, oops, I think that's why they were at TJ Maxx because they were probably like old, but they still did the job. I gave the other one to my sister because I was like, no, this isn't cutting it, because I had to use like three wipes to take off my makeup when I only use like one. So yeah, I kind of flew through those pretty quickly. But if you guys love them, no hate, no nothing, but they just weren't for me. And then I finished obviously an oldie but a goodie, my Rider Dye ones that I use all the time, the Equate Beauty Makeup Remover Cleanser Toilets. You guys already know, I use these all the time. I have one open, so always have a whole bunch of these on backup. Um, I finished a toner. I finished the Kopari Coconut Rose Toner. I finally finished this. I have had this in my collection forever now. I think I got this in a boxy charm, and I finally finished it. Yay! Um, coconut and Rose. Oh my god, those scents were amazing. I loved it. I would spritz it on my face when I would feel my face looked a little bit like cakey or looked really powdery I would spritz that on to kind of take away that powdery effect and it worked really really well I don't know if I would repurchase it though because I know it's probably it is on the higher end side and honestly the Mario Badescu spray is like almost the same thing as that I'd rather pay $4 for this than to pay like $28 for this but if you have it, if you want to try it, by all means, try it out. He's smelling it. Do you see that? Show them you smell it. Smell it. Smell it. Smell it. I thought he smelled it. Two settings sprays. 
Well, actually, wait. Let me take it back. Hold on. Let's do this one first. This is the Milani Make It Last setting spray. This is one of my favorite setting sprays ever from the drugstore. This is actually my second bottle of it. I have no idea why it's not focusing. There we go. Um, I finally finished it up. I love the setting spray. If you have oily skin, dry skin, combination skin, whatever type of skin you have, this is going to make your makeup last. I highly recommend this spray. I already have a backup of it in my makeup collection. I don't, did not finish the spray, but it is empty, so I'm going to throw this out. This is the Tarte Stay Spray Setting Spray. Um, the only reason why I'm throwing this out is because of the pump. So whenever it decides to focus, there we go. The pump is broken, so I'm throwing it away because the pump doesn't work. So it is in here. This is how much I've left of it. It was basically brand new. I'd only used it like twice, and then the little spray gave out on me. I tried to see if I could find this, like just the pump for sale. I couldn't. So I was like, okay, we're just going to put you in here. So basically, this is in here. So technically, I'm not done with it. We're just throwing away the packaging. But, obviously the spray bottle that I put it in, the setting spray that was in here before I finished, I will go ahead and insert a picture of it, of what the setting spray was. But what's in here now is the Tarte Stay Spray. Um, the setting spray that was in here before was from Revolution Pro, I believe, or if not, it was from Makeup Revolution. It was the Hydra Matte Fixing Spray. It was okay. I did not like the smell. It kind of was not my favorite. I am I'm kind of happy that I did get rid of it already and I finished it all, but I wouldn't repurchase it. I've been wanting to finish an eyebrow product like forever. I thought I never was, but I finally did. So, one of the ones that I finished up is the Marilyn Monroe X Hard Candy Collaboration. This is the Precision Brow Pencil. I finished it. Um, I don't know if they still make this anymore. I don't know if this was limited edition or not, but it is gone. I don't know why this is not focusing. This is what it looks like. It took forever for it to focus, but it did come with a little spoolie on the end. And then there is a new product. This was a good um, brow pencil. If I knew that they were probably going to be permanent, I would go buy another one, but I'm 100% sure it's probably going to be limited edition, but this was a good brow pencil. And the other one that I finished up was the CoverGirl Ultra Fine, Ultra Fine Brow Pencil in the shade 705 Rich Brown. This is what this one looks like. And this one, actually, I am seriously considering about going to find another one. I feel like this one went too fast. Um, are you going to focus? There we go. So this is what it looks like. There is a new more product and then it does come with a spoolie as well. Um, I actually think Juicy Jazz, she's another YouTuber or bigger YouTuber here. I think this is actually her favorite brow pencil, but I kind of think this is mine too because I'm kind of concerned about going and picking it up. I actually did enjoy using this, but like I said, I just felt it just went really cool. That is it guys. That is it for my empties i hope you guys enjoyed my little empties video um i know it wasn't much but it was kind of a little bit of a mixture of everything it just wasn't makeup it just wasn't skincare like the way it usually is it was a little bit of everything we had hair care we had body care we had bits of everything go ahead and see you guys all in my next video bye guys